Department to revoke, to resolve the long-standing issues of settlement of people residing in Shiru Shaviringa Settlement Scheme. Um, two, give reasons for the inordinate delay by the county government of Vihiga to petition parliament on alteration of boundaries of Kakamega Forest to exclude Shiru and Shaviringa settlement schemes in light of the land exchange program which was initiated by the government in 1985 during the creation of the present day Vihiga County Headquarters and Mbale, at Mbale. Three, a price the Senate on the status of the boundary survey by the Kenya Forest Service and the relevant ministries stating the amount of public funds budgeted for, for the survey exercise, giving the status of NEMA's environmental impact assessment, which was to be done concurrently with the survey exercise. Four, give the status of the ongoing exercise to fence Kakamega Forest, stating the forest cut line indicating whether the aforementioned scheme is within the cut line. Five, give reasons for the delay in the implementation of the presidential directive via the letter reference number OP slash CAB slash 26 slash 1 slash 3A dated 1st April 2014, which, was direct, which directed the degazettement to be fast tracked. Six, give reasons why the specific recommendation on this matter contained in the report of the inquiry into the illegal and irregular allocation of land, the famous Ndungu report, have been have not been implemented. And finally, Mr. Speaker, cause an inquiry into allegations that certain individuals, certain powerful individuals who benefited from the ex excision of the same section of the forest have been undermining efforts to finalize the issuance of titles to the bona fide beneficiaries. Mr. Speaker, I thank you. Senator, so you approached me to make a comment on your statement, and I can see standing on the 53 is allowing me to give you 53 4, to give you some minutes at the discretion of the speaker, to give you some minutes to make your comment or any other senator interested to make the comment. So you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, these are very serious matter. And uh, this is a situation where uh, in late 80s, when uh, Vihiga district had been created, the government resettled people in the forest, uh, the Kibiri forest, uh, on uh, an understanding that their lands were going to be taken over by government and they were going to be compensated by being settled in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Kibiri forest. Mr. Speaker, several years later, these people don't have titles, and that place has not been degazetted as a settlement scheme. Mr. Speaker, I raised this matter in the National Assembly, in the 12th Parliament, and uh, some progress was made. The government made a commitment to start the process of settling these people. Mr. Speaker, this process has stalled, and just about a month ago, uh, the, uh, these people invaded the office of the governor, where we also have the county referral hospital, and they demanded that they were going to take back their lands. Because though the government uh, took their lands, these people have not surrendered their titles. And therefore, government installations is uh, hosted on private land. And Mr. Speaker, this matter 
has been on for years. A lot of intervention has been made by leaders uh, in this area, but nothing is being done. And yet, at the moment, as we are speaking now, and I wish Honorable Haluare was here, the government is in the process of uh, fencing Kakamega Forest. So basically, to fence the forest, these people inside the forest. Mr. Speaker, in the Ndungu report, and even in the TJRC report, it was indicated very clearly that these people surrendered their lands, and the government had no reason to deny them uh, land in the settlement scheme where the government took them. So, Mr. Speaker, I would uh, direct that uh, uh, using your powers under standing order number one, you direct that the committee responsible takes this matter seriously and gives it a priority because now we are going to have a conflict. The conflict between uh, these people who genuinely gave out their land and the government which has not surrendered their land to them. So, Mr. Speaker, I wish that this Senate helps me as a Senator of Viga County to resolve this problem once and for all.